Well, Stephen, nice to nice to meet you. Nice for you to jump on. And let's talk about what's next for Chime and what we should be excited about. Maybe even some updates, man. Yeah. So I'm going to go through. I've got a short slide deck for y'all. Uh, we're going to go through some current stuff that came out. Just want to okay. reiterate some of the cool stuff that we had launched here in the last 90 days. All right. And then we got a little bit and I got some exciting stuff I want to share about with everybody coming down the pipeline so some good stuff let okay. me pull up uh let me pull up my slides here i heard some of the new stuff is going to involve a, a really nice hat we are coming out some new stuff with some nice hats i'm gonna <laughs> um, I'm, you, Stephen. yeah you, you heard know. you had me at hat <laughs> you know got some good stuff oh I drink a lot there, of coffee <laughs> So I'm, I'm like sitting here, Tristan, I'm like thinking, I'm like, wait, what did we tell Tristan? I'm just messing. Dude. Because there is, there is a story there, though, Tristan. There is oh, damn. Stuff with some hats coming, some swag and whatnot. But okay, cool. like, there's no way Tristan knows about that. We're not going to get into that sequence today, though. Okay, sure. okay. Go for uh, it, then. But, hey, I did see a lot of, and I caught the end of Brett there and wanting to change the icons. I got gotcha. you. We'll talk about that. We'll take to the tech team. Yes. All right. Yeah. Money it should be a giant, giant money bag. I don't know about it'll be a money bag. I mean, it'll be Uncle maybe... Scrooge, Uncle Scrooge's head. There yeah. you go. <laughs> there you go. So cool. Well, let me uh, let me share my screen, guys. Perfect. You guys see that, right? Oh, do yes. Got you. Fantastic. So I'm gonna kind of breeze through this. Anybody got questions? I don't see the questions. So Tristan, if you will. Oh yeah, I'm, we'll field them for you, buddy. Dude, just, you know, interrupt me. I don't like this whole me talking, right? So I got yeah, that. Yeah. I got you. Perfect. Come on. I'm sure um, Brett's got you too, because they're coming in now, so. Fantastic, cool. So quickly, we're just gonna go about some recent product releases, some future releases. I got some things that I think that everybody on the call is gonna be excited about. And then some customer success updates, right? So we're gonna jump right in. So some of the recent stuff, um, mm -hmm. we've got our new enterprise edition. And this enterprise edition is probably my favorite release that you know we've done in the three years that I've been here, right? You know, one of the biggest, I wanna say complaints that we've gotten was I have a team within a team and how do I manage that within Chime? Well, guess what? This solution solves that for everybody, right? So our new enterprise solution is a single CRM with better roles and permissions to allow for teams within a team within a team, right? Um, you guys just did the ISA kind of piece, right? A little bit before me. Yep. This is how you manage an ISA team for multiple teams within Chime, right? You can have an ISA team route to other teams. You can have that team send it back to an ISA team, right? So the new enterprise is where it's at here. And we wanna make sure we're, gonna, we're about to blow this up and, and start taking this out to market. We've quietly, you know, I know we've done a press release and things like that, but now we feel like it's ready for the mainstream. So- Dude, yes. We're gonna be talking about this. You know, oh, it's, it's- Really, really quick question on this. Yeah. How do you envision user using it? So let's go to back to Bob Lucido, right? Mm -hmm. Is this specifically for either brokerages that are in different areas or teams that are spread all throughout? That's how you envision it? So we envision, envision this multiple ways. Virtual brokerages, expansion teams, right? Um, people that have teams across state lines, yep. But even just a single brokerage, that wants to manage multiple teams mm -hmm. within the brokerage, this is the best product for them as well, right? And so there's multiple business cases here. It's not just a single solution. It's definitely like, like the Lucido Global team, we're actually yeah. in the process of moving them over to this new mm -hmm. enterprise yeah. um, with all of their expansion teams that they got going on uh, across the, the US. Um, and it allows for, the reason Robert was dying to get on this, I wish Robert was on this call. Robert was dying to get on this is because right now he's on our old enterprise, the multi-team edition. Oh, I remember and, that. Yep, yep, yep. And, and anytime you wanted to make a change to like a smart plan, you got to go into each team, each account, 
right? Copy, paste, copy, paste. Brett, you know this, right? Oh, really yeah. Well, right? <laughs> this new edition, you do it once and it applies to the to everybody. Oh, so, that's so sweet. There's no need to go into each individual team anymore. You'll be doing this from the top level. All right. A question, Stephen, what's the price on something like this? Does it change for the amount of people we bring on or what? It does change. So there is a platform fee, right? I'm going to you know, say contact sales because okay. it varies, right? We have two versions. We kind of have an unbundled version. And then we have a bundled version, which includes all of the AI, all includes all the, the voice and the text dialers. So call up a sales team, right? It starts out pretty cheaply at $14.99 for the platform fee plus seats, right? So, um, and that'll vary anywhere between $10 to $25 per seat. Perfect. I was going to say, if anybody is in a situation where they have the old enterprise account or they're thinking about doing an enterprise account, like a brokerage or anything like this, if you have to ask the question, is it worth it to do something like it, 100%. Being able to do this all at the top, Stephen, the amount of money and time that would have saved me across my platforms, I, that there is no dollar amount that you could put on this that would make it not worth it for someone yeah. that's running a brokerage. Exactly. The efficiencies you're going to gain by running something like this is just key right there. Stephen, uh, Linda's got a good question. With team within a team, one website instead of two, or what are we looking at? However they want to manage that. You want to have two yep. websites? We can do two websites. You want to have one website? You can have one website. You want to have three teams and have three team websites? You can do that as well. You want That's to have awesome. a team and you want them to manage their own domain with their own subdomains? That can be done as well. I love That's that. That's slick. It's ultimate flexibility, guys. This is by far the coolest thing, I think, besides the AI chatbot that we've launched in, in a yeah. long time so um yeah it, it's you know the the lead the the fact the the lead routing rules that play into this phenomenal right it's it's awesome so yeah it's uh it's one of those things i will say this we're launching this is already launched it's best for new customers right now we're working on a user transfer tool as we speak uh Thanks to Robert Lucido and his feedback, that'll help us for existing customers. Um, we expect that to be ready, hopefully, you know, here soon in the next uh, 90 days or so. But uh, if you're a new customer and you don't have this and you want to talk to us, call us. We'll get you going right away on this new enterprise. For those existing customers, give us a little bit of time. Reach out to your CSM. They'll help you walk you through what we can transfer, what we can't transfer today. I like cool. that. All right, dude. So what else you got for us? Yeah, let's keep going. CMA. Who wants to talk about CMAs? Oh, uh, yes. We did a whole webinar on this, which was amazing. Right? So the Chime CMA product is second to none out there now. Um, it's one of the cool things. I'll even show you an example. Let me bring up the example. Bam. You guys see this? I do. I love I this. Do. Fantastic. Look how slick it is, right? It yeah. Very clean. You know, cool thing is, is you can actually customize it to your branding as well, right? So, so cool. Yeah, it's got all the information that you need. Um, you can decide what information you want to put in here. If you want to take out some slides or not, you want to talk about what are the listings you want to you want to work with. Boom, right? Kind of show each one what the info is. And my apologies, you guys. Let me fit this to the screen. There we go. Fits to the screen, right? You can decide which listings to put in here, which sold listings, which ones actually work for you, right? And then the cool thing is, is you email this CMA to your client. There you go. They have the info, the tip of their hands. You want to use this on a tablet? By all means, go right ahead, right? Got the, all the, the stats. The thing that I love about this, and I, I know you guys had released this a little bit ago, but the thing, the biggest thing that I like about this from, from a user is that I like that this brings people back to your website. So yeah, you, you have Cloud CMA, you have RPR, you have all these other ones. This, in my opinion, this is clean, it's fresh, it's easy to understand. And, and most importantly, it drives people back to your website, <laughs> which is where we exactly. want them anyways. Th or this is, I think, I actually think this is almost as cool as the AI bot, if not equally. I, yeah. I think this is pretty darn cool. I mean, we kind of quietly launched this and the adoption rate just soared, right? I mean, this is actually being one of our 
most used features that we've released in a while as well. And at a, at a price point, that's a mere $19 a month. You can't even beat that, right? Dude, that's, that's really good, man. <laughs> I love that. And look, for those of you asking, does it replace Cloud CMA? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't just replace it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so and, much better. So, and Brett, to your point, you know, you're talking about the, uh, you're, you're talking about the opportunities. Interaction with this triggers yeah. those, those opportunities. Oh, yeah. Oh, sweet. There you go. Sweet. There so you when go. you're saying, so if someone opens this or like clicks on comps or anything like that, it's going to trigger those opportunities? Absolutely. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry for right. data. I love this. There you go. There you go. So amazing tool. This is something that we're seeing a lot of usage on here. Yeah. And this just launched this year, right? So it's been awesome. Been it's so awesome. easy to create cool. too. I'm going through the process right now to see how easy it is. And it's a, it's a five-step process. So that's super easy, man. Five clicks. Five clicks, right? If you go just the standard, absolutely. Is there a trial option for the CMA or no? Just there is so you could do up to four cmas before actually uh, actually purchasing the 19 dollars if you want so we're going to yeah, give you sweet. we're going to give you some chance to try it out before you buy it and sure. everybody if you're watching this as i know i keep on getting the question this is recorded and it's going to be in our chime youtube channel i'm going to put up the link right now once it's edited we're going to upload it there do me a favor and subscribe and click on the little bell as well. So you're notified anytime we have anything new there. All right, Stephen, what else you got for us besides this amazing CMA? Yeah, let's move on, right? Next thing is smart listings. This is something that we got tons of feedback on, right? Brett's shaking his head. You know, Brett oh, was yeah. a big piece, piece of this, right? You know, part of the focus group wanting, hey, how do, what do I do with my listing? How do I manage it? What do I do within Chime? Well, instead of taking all the different pieces of Chime and having you click here, click here, click here, you now have a listing, boom, go to smart listings, and this is where you're going to manage it. You're going to get all your, your, your buyer matches are going to show up, right? Right at the, the top right here. Uh, you want to run some promotional ads, boom, you can do it here. You want to build an open house form, you're going to do it right from here, right? And this gives you a little suggested action. Create a just listed flyer. Whoa, my bad, guys. Create a just listed flyer, post it to social media, create a text code. So we're guiding our customers to kind of do a little bit more marketing, but also allow you to do all your marketing right from here, right? So this is just for your listings and it pulls in all the information from the MLS and gives you a quick kind of guide of what to do. Dude, super, like yeah, super simple, super easy to follow, right? Dude, this is really cool. I love this Yeah. One. I love how everything's in one place. So if someone gets a new listing, it puts it right in one place. So it's all there. It, yeah. You don't have to fumble around and try to find, this is slick. Yeah, this I was a it. huge fan when you rolled this out. Yeah, and allows you to just, you know, for those newer agents, okay, I got a new listing, what do I do, right? Yeah. Cool, let, let me walk you through what the basics are, right? Hey. And then Brett will coach you on what to do thereafter. Question for you, Stephen. So yeah. if, if a property, let's say I have a, let's say I have a property that's not on the MLS. If I add that as a pocket listing, will this populate or is it, or will it not? Because it's technically not attached to the MLS yet. It should populate into the MLS. Let me see here. Oops. Sorry, guys. Um, yes. Pocket listings do populate hundred percent. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So, so cool. Cool. All right. Moving on. All right, quick question. Does the CMA work in Canada? I had that question a few times. Um, it does not right now, just because of the data uh, data yeah. that we have. We don't have the data set there, um, but we are actively working on a solution there. I'm going to implore to the team here, if you know anybody that provides a data source that provides sold data, send it my way, and we'll be happy to take a look at it. It's, it's just because you guys can't do the SERP per moose conversion yet, can you? <laughs> well, yeah, I wanted to see if Tristan would get that, but he, he it went over his head. I was yeah. I was answering a question and I was like, what? And then I got it. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. was good. that was good. Way to, way to pull me back from that. I do what I can. So 
So let's so let me clarify on the MLS P or on the CMA, please. It will work as long as we have MLS data there, right? The sold listings, it'll go out active, not necessarily sold, right? So as long as we have the sold data, it will work. As long as we have the MLS data, it'll work in Canada on the CMA. All right, perfect. Cool. I'm just answering All right. a few of those questions. Uh, good, good, good. All right, good. Continue. All right. Design Center. Oh, yes. Man, this is really cool. We just launched an update to the Design Center. Our goal is to get this to a zero edit section, Design Center, right? So what that means is now we are pulling in the data from the MLS into these flyers, into these, whatever you're designing, whether it's a open house form or whether it's a postcard, we're trying to pull it in and we're trying to make it as zero edit as possible. Right now we're in, the, we're in the quick edit phase. We're not in the zero edit phase, but now we're pulling in the picture. We're pulling in the address, the phone number, all of that, right? On, on our templates, if you've created a template yourself that you're reusing, unfortunately right now, the zero edits and the quick edits won't work on that. But on our templates, it'll work and it'll bring in that data to make creating the, the postcards or anything else you're creating in the design center so much faster now as well. Yeah. Steven, so, uh, Leslie said, I'm just catching this, Leslie, uh, says, not sure if you guys saw it in the chat, but it does work in Toronto, solds included. Yeah. As so, long as we have the sold data, it'll work. There's... Um, in them, there's some MLS in Canada. How does the CMA product integrate into the new version with multiple teams? I mean, Ooh. that's a good question. Uh, in, in what what kind of manner, right? So, the new version, the new enterprise with teams, right? All the agents can buy the CMA platform on their own if they want to. Or the team owner can buy it on behalf of its agents, right? Um, it can be per so yeah, it can be purchased by individual users, or it can be purchased by the team owner or the account owner. Awesome. All right, good answer, dude. All right, I love this design center, and I yeah, love me too. heading with this. This is really nice. Yeah. yeah. Our like this I said, is... our our goal on the design center is to get to a zero edit space, right? That's where we want to be, make it easier for everybody. Not everybody's a web designer or a graphic designer. Yeah. We, will, we want to take that as much as possible. Yeah. I love that, dude. All right. Anything else you got for us? Or does this wrap it up for the new stuff? This wraps it up for the new stuff. Let's jump into future releases. Oh, here we go, Brett. Okay. Disclaimer. Oh. Disclaimer. You know me, Brett. I got to put the disclaimer out there. No. Obviously, everything we see here, not everything will get actually made or it may change the, um, you know, some of the prototypes that I'm about to show you, all right? So now we got that out of the way, let's jump into agent recruiting. Oh yeah, right. oh, sorry, I'm gonna <laughs> mute myself. No, 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 my friend. I even got screenshots I'm pulling over, so bear with me for a second, all right? Let me close out of some tabs and I'm gonna bring this on over. Oh, whoa, come on. So agent recruiting. Guys, don't ask me about price. Don't ask me about launch date, okay? Because we, we're, we're working on it. We're working on it, all right? Mm -hmm. But this will be part of our new, what we call back office solution, uh, oh. to be TBD. And it's going to allow for agent a separate agent recruiting module within CHI, right? And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to search for agent and, and also search for the production, right? It's gonna give you a pipeline for candidate management, right? So you'll have a separate pipeline for your recruiting pipe. You can, you'll, however you wanna name that and, and work with that, right? It'll support an import from our CSV, right? Yeah. And allow you to tag candidates as well. One of the cool features that I'm looking at, uh, that we're looking at right now is also, you know how we have buyer matching, right? Let's no. work. Let's work on agent matching. How oh, many deals yes. have you guys been working on together? How many deals have you, as a team, worked with certain people? Right. Um, so that's something that we're working on as well. 
So this is some cool things where you'll have a, you know how you have a lead profile page? Well, guess what guys, here's a candidate profile page. Again, complete prototype, subject to change, but give you all the details, timeline, where they're at, right? In the pipeline stage, any appointments you may have, any notes you want to make with them as well. Dang, dude, oh, this is really good. You want to search for agents in a certain area. Hey, you want to be an expansion team? You want to search in a different area? You'll be able to search and do all of that as well, right? So this is a cool feature. This is coming. I don't have a date for you. I know everybody wants to know when, but hey, the fact that I have prototypes, it's a pretty mm. good sign. That is, it, it already looks like it's going to go live next month. I'm just saying. <laughs> I probably, I, hang on, probably, hang on. Not, probably not. I hate I have a question on this. Okay, so so Stephen, just I, I, you may not be able to answer this, but I, but I want to try. Okay, so let's say for example, uh, I wanted to find an agent in Phoenix, but I'm not in Phoenix. Can I pull up a list of agents like this, or does it only search my MLS? TBD. Okay. Okay. TBD. Sorry. Depends. I, depend I had to throw that out there. No, it's a fantastic question, Brett. And okay. we're, we're working through MLS agreements. Oh, our, be so cool. Our hope is to do what you want, to, want it to do. That's our hope. Oh. Whether or not so, the MLS so, allows us, that's a different story. Oh, that'd be so cool if you could do that. Yeah. 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 So that's cross our fingers. That's what we're hoping for. All right. Yes. Any questions M moving off of? Uh, no, you got a lot of people that love this one. So right. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Based off what this uh, whole virtual events off of, I've seen some of the content it was in earlier. Growing yeah. teams is huge, right? Yeah. So, well, cool. Well, let me talk about what do you do once you finally grow those teams, right? Yeah. Okay. Move those. Recruiting team features, right? So now you're recruiting these teams. Now you've got a team. Well, what do you do next, right? You need to manage those teams. You need to communicate with those teams. And this is one way of doing it, right? We're going to have a calendar, team calendar, right? Um, calls, right, that you'll be doing, right? You can share a calendar with your ISA, assistant, whomever, all of those things, right? We're going to have a team inbox and messaging platform. Mm. Mm. How great is that? So this is like well, making my day. So now, now instead of Jay Steinbach, who we had on first, instead of him using Discord, he could just yeah. use this. Yeah, this it that, could all be in one place. One platform. Dude, yes. Don't don't ask me when or how much <laughs> yet. March 31st, free. That's what I heard. I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> definitely not free. I'll say that. Maybe March 31st, but I don't know that for feedback either. So I cool. I just think right. that that's a game changer right there. That is. Plus, it looks like iMessaging. I know it really does. Which I love. Yeah. So um, well, cool. Here's another one that I'm excited about, guys. Let's get out of this since we're done here. Boom. Uh, let's see. My market, right? People want to know, how do I gain market share? Well, first, you got to tell me what your market is, right? Tell me what your market is. And my market is a code name. We're just not going to be the official name. But this is going to allow you as an agent to come in and say, this is my market, my areas. How many homes do I have for there? How many listings are in there? What's the turnover rate? Yeah. Right? Boom. We're going to give you some data. Whoa. I'm, going tell you, I'm going to tell you this right now, though. Let's, this is strictly prototype right now. Hold on. Right? Hold on. I'm out because I, I have a great comment. And some people may be offended by it, but I love the comments. Hold on. You ready for this, Stephen? Let's go. All right. How for sure <laughs> will this be launched? Not like command. We're still waiting for their shit to get off the ground for the last seven years. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent sure on everything else I showed up until this called my market. But I appreciate that comment. That comment made my day. 
That was funny. I, I it made me laugh because you know. Yeah. All right, dude. I yeah. I dig this because how often do I look at an area for my team where we're gonna go in and mail or where we're gonna go in and say, hey, let's farm this area, and I don't know what the turnover rate is, right? And I don't know what the absorption rate is. So, dude, yes, I love this. So, so Tristan, this is going to go beyond just farming, right? This is going to go and say, this is my market. This is the area I want to focus in or areas, right? And then and I'm going to get all the stats. Uh, one of the stats that's not shown here, we want to show you what's your market share based off the of listings you've had in that area, right? Things like that. We want to start giving you insights into your market area so that you can take a look at it. Um, and, and we're gonna throw other things into this, you know, propensity scoring, right? So not only are we gonna help you build a list, right? And give you contact mm -hmm. info mm -hmm. so that you can mm -hmm. direct market them, right? But digital marketing with remarketing, right? Oh yeah. Do those types of things, right? Oh, we're gonna shoot. build, yeah. We're gonna we build just campaigns. be like, oh, retarget these, retarget this area because I'm starting a new campaign here. Now I can combine it with mailers. Exactly. Dude, this is like this is like the first thing that I have people that I coach do this is, sick, is like though. discover their turnover rate, and and you just Dude, this is you, really you Brett, make, This is good, man. I I want this so badly. It's like not Wait, even funny. Stephen, <laughs> Nick's got a great question here. Great question, Nick. Are you guys building this or buying the tech? We're building it. Okay, cool. We're building it. Yep. Good question. Good question. Good question. But we, we are going to have partners, right? So we're going to have data partners, people we get some of the data from in combination with our own data model, right? So it'll be a combination of data sources and our own data for sure. Yeah, everybody wants this. So, I mean, this is at the very, I think this and the brand new hats are like really like neck and neck. I think. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't I, know, man. Those Steven, hats, those for hats. the record, how about a polo? <laughs> I would take a hat. I would take I a hat over yeah, this. Just, just so like we're a clear. step down from hats. All right, all right. I've oh, hats are losing now. Brandon said <laughs> hats are losing now. This is good. This is definitely the top. It was amazing. Love it. Love it. Awesome. Well, guys, I've got two more things. Okay, shoot. Two more things. Whoa. Well, two well things. three. Steve, whoa, whoa, we, three, three, we gotta, three. Give, we gotta give away the the watch. So three things. Okay. Perfect. Three, three things. Well, technically four things, because oh, there's two oh, things on this. Oh, yeah. Guys, this is something I'm excited about. Public facing roadmap. Huh. <laughs> that's, that's, that's scary, Stephen. Oh. It's <laughs> very, very scary. Oh, but interesting. I'll say, Dude. So I'm going to say this. The roadmap is not going to be a year long roadmap. And okay. it's not going to include things like, you know, small features. It's going to talk about these things that we have. And I'm going to say this right now. It's not going to include everything. We got to, we have to maintain a competitive edge, right? On our right, competitors. Right. So, but what this public, what the public facing roadmap, the idea behind it is also to do more interactions. Like we see it in the Facebook group. Hey, I want this feature. Hey, I want that feature. Cool. Well, how many of others want this feature? So we're hoping. We're hoping to do a, a feature, a, a submit a feature and like a voting piece to it as well, right? Good. And so that's what we're, we're hoping to do, but we'll definitely be doing the public facing roadmap and then some other things along with that. Steven, public facing meaning to only chime customers or to everyone? It'll be to everybody. Okay. It'll be to everybody. Jeez. Yeah. We're that's not scary. We see you guys. We see you competitors. We ain't scared. Cool, cool. Well, that's awesome. So that's yeah. awesome. Last thing on this is the lender co-marketing campaigns, right? Okay. Think of a purple and black uh, product that's out there today, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Go ahead, Brett. I'll let you say it. Oh, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Look at Tristan. Is it? It's not Zerple, is it? Not Zerple. It's not Zerple, but it's a product that gives you a little bit more. It's more like market snapshots, what's going on with your home, things like that. that uh, it integrates was, really well. Steven, I was thinking much deeper. I was like, I was, I was going there too. I was like, where are you going? Are, you, that? are okay. you talking about like purple and black? Did they get bruised up because they suck now? Or like, is it really yeah. purple and black? 
it's not that fast. Uh, it's but, not Homebot. But I it? got you. I got you. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. So think of something like that, but a little bit obviously better because that's how we roll, right? But lender co-marketing campaigns. I know you got to do it right now. You got to do it now with, you know, I'll put you, I'll put you in my signature of my emails, things like that. We're talking about co-marketing campaigns where you get an email from a lender, you get an email from an agent, right? And yeah. in a separate kind of way. So, and we're going to automate that, obviously, smart plans, market snapshots, things like that. So. All right. And when does I, that come out? Uh, uh, <laughs> first? Before or after? 2023. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely probably after the hats, for sure. Okay. Right. Uh, last thing for me, guys. I just want to share, if you guys did not see this blog post, please go to the Chime blog. I want you guys to know we are invested in our customer success because we've invested over a million dollars over the last year in building a world-class team, okay? This is my team here in Phoenix. Uh, we do everything from implement, everything post-sales, implementation, account management, customer success management, all the way through to tech support. We've brought that all here. It's here in our Phoenix office. We have, you know, I'll, I'll say this, my team in Phoenix is bigger than the sales team that we have here, yeah. okay? And we are committed to doing this. This is something that we've been working on, doing a bit over the last three years. We finally got there um, and we're gonna continue to grow our team here. So the digital marketing analyst, I mean, Tristan, you talk to Chris Gonzalez all the time here That's in our funny. office, right? He's good, man. Yeah. So, you know, that team, we, we were building separate teams here and we're excited. This is something we want to make sure everybody knows, right? 90% um, of our CS team is in Phoenix. Yeah. Right. It's, Steven, well, it's, it's, really, it's really cool to see this. I, so I, I met Steven way back when, like I've been a Chime user for a long time now. And Steven and I met, I think at that like very first like little user conference that yeah. you guys did. And there were not a bunch of people there and it was really fun. And you looked at me and you'd said like, we're going to have the best customer support period. And you know what, man, it is, it is impressive to see what you have done. It, you do. And you lived up to exactly what you said you were going to do. It has been so fun watching your growth. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And, you know, we're here for our customers. So. 